Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. Nice to see you all. Um, after that amazing entry the other day, I have now got some more amazing entries to show you. This is um, number 21, <clears throat> excuse me, and this has come from a lady called Deborah Brockman and she lives in the USA. So I've just basically opened the envelope and taken Deborah's, oh, sorry, entry out. So let's have a look. So she's, oh, look at this beautiful envelope. I think that might have come from Vintage Days by um, Artie Mays. And oh, look at the way she's decorated it. Let me bring this up. Sorry, I keep hitting the table. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is obviously one of the envelopes from the kits. But what she's done is she's layered up lots of different little papers. Um, and then there's some lace and then some paper flowers with little gold middles and it looks so cute and that's acting as a stopper and this is our entry so let's get inside I love that oh we've got a lovely letter here oh wow let's have a look right so Hello Tina, my entry for the challenge is this stuffed trifold folder. <laughs> wow. I usually attach them to the back inside cover of a journal or they can go in a pocket. I've used items from Artie May's Cardinal Rose, Rose kit throughout. Oh, that's one of my favourite kits of Andrea's. Um, thank you so much for doing this giveaway challenge. I love seeing all the entries and the giveaway journals you made with the embellished bags are just breathtaking. Oh, thank you so much, Deborah. And thank you all for entering because like I keep saying, this would not be possible without you. So let's have a look at this. So this is a tri-folder. She's wrapped it beautifully, again, with this lovely bow. Uh, I don't like undoing other people's bows if I can get away with it because, you know... They did that bow <laughs> and it's just beautiful. And this is wrapped. I think there's a little bit of like double-sided tape. So you know what? I am going to snip this one and we'll just open one end and see if I can slide it out. Although it is pretty compact in there. You know what? I am going to snip both ends because that's how I ruined the wrapping on the one I opened yesterday we go so let's have a look oh my goodness me oh wow can you see this oh it's absolutely beautiful look at this little tiny tag here right I'll leave that there so I don't keep bending it but what she's got here the front cover of a trifold She's got some beautiful vintage, like a trim. She's sewn around in like what I would call a coffee brown colour. And the stitching is, is lovely. Really, really tiny stitches. And she's collaged here. Um, there's some backing paper. I recognise that from Artie Mays. Some cheesecloth, some delicate lace, and then I think maybe one of these backing pages are the Cardinal Rose. Excuse me. And then she's got this this um, picture here of a lady with a Christmas pudding. It says jo Joyo Noel, you know, Happy Christmas, or Joyous Noel. <laughs> and uh, this beautiful little um, embellishment here. So let's open this up. And, oh, look at this. Isn't this just stunning? It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the way you've mixed different things with um, this kit. Is Christmas one of your favourite times of year by any chance, um, Deborah? It is mine. I adore Christmas. Um, and being a Christian, there are other deeper reasons that I enjoy it so much. But I love the getting together with family and the, the the hustle and the bustle and the excitement and oh it's just wonderful so she's got um backing paper here this looks like one of the pages from Artie Mays's kit and I think this is one of the backing pages and she stamped over it and again she's layered up I think this could be a vellum sticker or yeah vellum sticker and she's shrunk down a little card here and and little 
another little card here and lace along here a lace belly band and see how neat that is that's just beautiful and so here's one of the tags and she's got two from and here she's included some recipe ideas peanut blossoms now is this if this will fold down i believe uh yes if i can open it i don't know if this is a vintage page or one that she's actually printed out but wouldn't it be fun just to have a go at some of these christmas tea cakes oh my goodness wow and teas coffees and spices piece of ephemera tag there and that's got a little bit of green um like i think it might be like a seam binding oh wow so are you getting ready for Christmas at the moment, Deborah? <laughs> um, I think we all are starting. I've certainly started Christmas shopping. I'm sorry if I'm upsetting a few people from saying that. Excuse me. This is also, I recognise, from Marty Mays. And in here, she's got some tags, some journaling cards rather. And she's sewn around these. Oh, look. And backed them. And I don't know if it's tea stained or what, but I love the effect. And it's got lots of texture and they're all back like that except for that one there but how lovely are those oh they're gorgeous wow so i'll put them back in here and this lace i will take that back out actually because it will show it off a bit easier this lace is just beautiful oh it's so delicate and how cute is this up here this little red tiny flower with a little piece of ribbon so beautiful so very beautiful and over here in this pocket again we've got a piece of the backing paper or a page from um, Andrea's kit and she's layered up um, a vellum sticker and a few other little tags and bits and pieces she's got another little vintage tag a uh, miniature tag here with a little bit of um, embroidery floss this one is Bourbon Balls, Grandma's favourite. So is this your Grandma's favourite? I love Bourbon Biscuit, so if it's anything like that... Oh, just look and listen to this, guys. Three cups of vanilla wafers rolled to a dust. Three tablespoons of corn syrup. One cup of powdered sugar, which is icing sugar. Powdered cocoa, chopped pecans and bourbon. <gasps> wow, they do sound delicious turkey in the sack wow another old recipe there and date nut tarts I, do you know what i am gonna have a go i'm gonna have a go at one of these it might have to be grandma's favorite but uh, wow that is a fantastic entry and we'll fold over here and oh she's got a pocket here look and inside oh my gosh I love Ava Maria. It is a beautiful, beautiful carol or Christian song. I, I just love it. And she's printed it on, it's like grease proof paper. Do you know, I've not printed on any baking parchment or grease proof paper. I've used it for projects and I've stamped on it and decoupaged on it and made envelopes and all, but I've never actually printed on it. So that will be something def definitely that I'm going to try. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful, Deborah. Thank you so very much for entering. So let's put you in bunny. So Deborah is number 21. I am thrilled. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the colours and I love how delicate it is. Um, it's pretty, but it's very old. It's just stunning. So Deborah, um, I'm just going to turn your package over so I can spell your name right. Deborah Brockman, Brockman, USA. Lovely. So that's Deborah folded up, and now you're in the back of my little pink bunny. And wow, I mean, it is definitely getting quite full in there. Thank you so much, Deborah. I absolutely love that. That is just beautiful. Okay, so this is the next one. So all I'm doing when I receive these parcels is literally just snipping them open minutes before I come on here. 
so that I'm not faffing around trying to open packages. So this is from Lizzie and she is from Canada. Hi Lizzie. Uh, Lizzie, is that Drought your name? Lizzie B. Drought, I think that's who you are. And this is number 22. So we've got here this lovely tissue paper. Again, I'm going to snip the washi um, just to try and save the paper because I love tissue paper. Now there's no note separate, so there might be a note in here. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, do you know, I, I keep saying it, but you all blow me away. You all totally blow me away. She's made like a little pocket insert and, well, she's actually altered a bag in her own way. And let me see, is there a little note or letter here? There might not be. Not everybody feels like they want to write a letter. Let me just have a quick look. Um... Uh, no, I don't think there is. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. Right. So let's fold this back down. I, I think this is lovely. What a fabulous idea. So she's used, um, I think this is one of Artie Mays's um, images from her little kit. Her little kit, her vintage kit, Vintage Days. That's a recent kit she's made. And she's basically got a paper bag and she's um, sewn a pocket on the front of the bag out of this, another bag and on the back. And then, of course, um, hang on. Yes. And then she's sewn it closed. So I think that is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So if I bring it up close, she's got this beautiful, delicate lace here. And this looks like an embossed piece of paper that's been tea dyed. There's a little card frame here, but do you know that looks like wood? She's got that looking like wood, unless it is very thin wood. Um, Deborah, I'm, uh, Lizzie, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but she's got here a little tiny tag. I can't read it because I haven't got my glasses on. This beautiful paper butterfly that she's um, got, she's shaped it beautifully actually. All the edges are peering up and there's a bead and look at the little bit of lace and the tiny weeniest little bow there made out of twine. So we'll open her up and inside she's done some layering here. She's die cut this beautiful border, excuse me. There's a little bit of, um, it's like a cotton here that I think she's stamped on. And then she's got a little bit of lace, some cards, some of these little gems. They're so pretty. They're almost like a rainbow colour when the light hits them. And the butterfly. And in the front pocket, I will just make sure I've got that. We've got this beautiful little journal card. Again, I love these colours. The green and the lines are just beautiful. It feels lovely. And then in the back pocket, she's made this little book um, and this is one of Artie Mays' freebies that you can get, I think it is, on her website or her Facebook group. And there's a little butterfly here. She's got some ribbon here. She's got two brads. Being happy doesn't mean everything's perfect. It means you decide to see beyond the imperfections. And that is just so true. And she's got lots of different little papers in here. Little scrappy bits. I love these little books. They are just so handy and you can just pop them in your bag. This is just a beautiful journal insert, isn't it, everybody? So I'll put those down flat and turn it to the back. And here she's got a paper clip. I'm not going to take it off. I'll move my hand. You might be able to see it a bit better. And this beautiful beaded dangle. And this is a rusted, proper rusted paper clip. And she's bent the end around. And again, you've got the lime green. You've got like the all the colours that match in with these neutrals here and in that pocket we've got this beautiful layered tag I absolutely love that and the card is textured and she's layered up some stickers and some cheesecloth and a butterfly it's so pretty and then on the back here 
we have a tag. Oh, and look at her stitching. Again, her stitching, that is that is super, super neat. Beautiful stitching in like a coppery brown colour and she's got some lined paper on the back. Wow, Lizzie, this is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. So let's just put Lizzie in. So Lizzie is number 22. I think I've got time for another. And that's Lizzie. Um, oh, is that an E on the end? It looks like it. Lizzie B. Drought. Honestly, all of your work is just fantastic. Canada. So Lizzie's number 22. And let me just fold that a bit neater. Otherwise I won't be able to cope with it. <laughs> and that's gone in there now. Okay, so Lizzie's in bunny. Thank you so much, Lizzie. That is just beautiful. So I've just pulled this out of the package and this is from Tara Hayes. And she lives in, is that New York, Tara? <laughs> so let's open yours. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, we've got a lovely letter here. Thanks again, hugs Tara. Oh, Tara, you're so welcome. I don't feel like I've actually done a lot, um, re really. <laughs> but anyway, let's have a read of this. Okay, so I'm going to read. If there's anything personal that she doesn't want me to um, read out, then I'll just um, edit out the video. So, hello, Tina Ann. I am so excited to be part of your challenge. By the way, I am actually Tina Ann, um, but I do use Tina or Tina Ann. Um, thank you for the opportunity. Oh, you're so welcome, Tara. I have been working on a blue theme set of journals. Oh, have you now? And watching YouTube videos while watching. One of your videos came on and I learned that you love the colour blue. I absolutely do love the colour blue. And you know, ever since I was a little girl, my sister was always very pink. Her bedroom was always painted pink. With me, it was always blue. Um, me too. Oh, excellent. <laughs> So I decided to make a few extra goodies from some from some papers to send to you. I hope you like them. I am sure I will. Uh, oh, now I won't read what she's written down, what she's put. I'll go back to that in a moment. Let's see what she's done. And again, look at this beautiful tissue paper. Wow, I do love to um, recycle the tissue and use it to wrap other people's presents in because I just think that's such a fun thing to do. My goodness me, I'm so excited because I know it's also going to be blue. Um, wow, these are three amazing entries. Absolutely. Right, let's have a look. Uh, it's funny actually, Tara, but I'm in the middle of making some, well, I say blue. They're more teal, white, silver, grey, winter journal kits at the moment. Oh, my goodness. Um, wow. Oh my goodness me, look at this. Oh my giddy aunt. Wow. Right, shall we read about it then? Now we've opened it. Okay, so you will find a small accordion notebook, which I guess is this, with bulldog clips. So if I take the bulldog clip off, that's such a good idea to hang it off there. That looks like a Tim Holtz or something very similar. And look at this, how pretty is that? And she's just used a decorative blue and gold card and these little Velcro dots. And let's open this up. Oh my days, wow. Okay, so it goes this way and she's right. So she's glued a few pieces together. I hope you can get this. So there's a little tiny tag here with, again, some patterned blue paper and this lovely little bullfinch and I, I'd forgotten that finch, um, finch, <laughs> it's a bird, Tina, a little tab at the top. That is so, so cute. So I'll stick that back in the way it was. I think it was in there. And uh, look at this. She's got another little pocket here with another little tab, tag, and um, again, she's collaged some different papers onto this blue background paper and a little black piece of black lace. And you all know I love black lace. Absolutely 
beautiful that is. I don't want to be too forceful. And then here at the end, so I think, yep, yeah, I am right. Here we've got a little pocket, again, made of some beautiful paper and another little journal card. Again, layered up with this butterfly. And this is just so cute, Tara. I love it. I absolutely love it. And then on the back, what she's done is she's stenciled. I'm trying to be really careful because I really don't want to wreck this. Please excuse me for sniffing, everybody. I have got a bit of hay fever at the moment. I always seem to get it in the autumn, which is very weird because most people get it in the summer. But there we go. And again, that just fastens like that. Do you know, that is the cutest idea. I absolutely love it. Love it. So that's that. And then here, uh, yes, I think to clip onto the front covers of my journals for extra journal space. That is a brilliant idea. I love that. There is also a trifold stuffed with tags and cards as well as some leftover stamps and tickets I made for my blue themed journals. You will also see a mini fabric flip paper clip. Ooh. So that's five items fast. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Thanks again. Hugs, Terra. Oh, wow. So let's have a look. So this is a little paper clip that she's made. And she's used black lace and cream and a bit of white. And again, the blues. These. This is quite a tearly blue. Or more of a baby blue, maybe. I like to call it ice blue. These are some of the blues that I've used recently. And that is just, I love it. I love it. And look at the front. She's got this beautiful, that's a, that's a really novel way, by the way, Tara. She's got a tiny bit of twine tied in around this little eyelet and then a bowl pin. And hanging off that is the sweetest little piece of, it's like a navy blue filigree piece with a jade or a, um, a turquoise middle. Can you see that? It's so, so cute. Sorry. Um, I'm lifting this up to the camera so that you can get a look at the close-ups there. And as we go back, so we've got this beautiful pocket here. Again, all layered up. with She's fussy cut out different elements there. Free. Oh, I love the thought of being free. And in the front of the pocket, she's got two lovely tags. Or a tag and a journal card. I love the way you've done this. And again, she's sewn all the way around really neatly. And has got beautiful backing. And here we've got a mushroom layered up with some um, like word search paper or, you know, letters from the alphabet. Really lovely. And this is, um, is that a bird? I think it is. It's like a peacock type of bird on this paper. It's really beautiful. So if we put those back in there, excuse me, and I'll stick this back on there. Open it up. Oh, look at this. The work that you've put into this it's absolutely gorgeous i love 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 it and here she's got some tickets that she's again layered up so i'm thinking that she's die cut these out yeah and then pardon me she's layered up beautiful bits of mushroom um images there's a little butterfly she's put numbers on them and, and done the details herself i love this Again, lovely, beautiful vintage lady with the clock and the flowers and then the butterfly and the bingo card. And I love the way that you've done that so that this is actually shorter. Really good idea there, Tara. Brilliant. And here we've got some more little tickets. How cute are these? But she's made them completely her own because she's die cut them out. She's stamped. She's got little ladybirds on here or ladybugs. And little bits of ephemera, labels, mushrooms. Can't quite make out that one without my glasses on. It's a bug of some kind anyway. So, so cute. Isn't that cute? So, did that fold? I don't want to do anything it shouldn't do. I'll just pop it back in and I think it did all fold, didn't it? Uh, right. I'll just pop it back in like that. And then here, let's open it up. So on the inside, we've got this beautiful 
tag that she's made, or it's not a tag, it's a little notebook. Happiness is a choice. That is so, so true. Let go. Oh, love it. Love it, love it. And here, she's actually um, got this beautiful picture and done some really roughly sewn edging. And I love doing this. I feel it's very artistically done. And I never stick to a straight line going around my images. And then she's got a cut out here, um, fussy cut out image of some flowers. And she's made a ruffle. It could be like brown paper. And then a sturdier paper on top. And she's used a goldy brown um, bit of uh, cotton there to sew across the top. And then if we go inside, she's put lots of different papers in here. Now, there's some grid paper. This is beautifully dyed. Is that coffee dyed? It's absolutely beautiful. Look, I'll do it this way. I just love it. And there's like a ledger paper there. Oh, this is just beautiful. Oh, and I love this idea. So she's got a belly band there. And there's also, I do this sometimes, put down a piece of paper here so you can also journal there. And then that just slips in there like that. That's just lovely. And can you see the shape she's made? It's really beautiful. And the amount of work in here, she's sewn everywhere, all around, everywhere. And in this little pocket here, that is just like its mirror image over here with butterflies. And here, she's got some, oh, these are her perforated stamps she was talking about. So she's made these. Again, this has been, I think this is a die cut or, you know, an embossed piece. And then she's made her own little stamps. These are beautiful. Lots of layering, butterflies, um, mushrooms. That looks like it could be from the Tracy Fox and um, it's very similar to that and Artie Mays' collaboration of Nature's Remedies. I might be wrong, but I love it. So they go in there and if we fold that in, is that right? No. Nope. Okay, so we fold it over here and on this page... At the back here, again, she's made a lovely pocket. Namaste. Now, Namaste is a greeting in Indian. And India is also one of my favourite places in the world. I travelled around the north of India when I was in my mid-twenties. And it was a life-changing experience. And I would recommend anyone to go um, and look at these tags. They are beautiful. Again, she's layered up. And she's got um, this print here of this vintage lady. And this is some washi. She's put a tab up there. That says marvellous. Blue flowers here. A little bit of um, lace. Oh, that's what I always say. That's what I always say. Oh, marvellous. Oh, I see. Marvellous. That's what I always say. I just love it. It's amazing. Oh, wow. You. Oh, there's more. And then you turn over to the back. And she's got down here azure. A sky coloured, the fine blue colour of the sky. Mm. Absolutely love that. Love that. And she's put some more beautiful tags in here. Oh, they are just gorgeous. This is, again, all layered up. And she's used washi and music paper. I love all the different shaped tags you've, um, uh, tabs you've been using, Tara. Adventure, number three. Oh. I absolutely love this. This is just fabulous. Tara, thank you so much. That is just gorgeous. Let's put this little book back on the front somehow. Um, I, I think you'll all agree that these three entries, again, are just fantastic. So let's put Tara. I'll put your letter in here, Tara, because I like to keep everything together. Okay. So, Tara is number 23. Uh, Tara, I love that name. Uh, Tara, 23. And Hayes. Hayes. And because I think you are in New York, I'm going to put New York. There we go. That is brilliant. So, let's fold you up and put you in the back of Bunny. Here we go, and that's done. So folks, wow, I think you will totally agree with me when I say 
how beautiful are these three gorgeous little entries i mean they're just stunning absolutely stunning so once again thank you so much to let me find the names <laughs> there's lots of names to remember deborah and tara and lizzie for your fabulous entries and i'll be back again very soon with some more thank you for watching bye for now